The Royal Giant is the fourth and final card receiving an evolution in this update, and I'm going to tell you how he works as quickly as possible. So, how does the evolved Royal Giant differ from the normal one? His mechanic isn't actually too complicated, so it shouldn't take too long to explain. So whenever the Royal Giant attacks, within a radius around him, he will do some recoil damage that will knock back enemies. Look at this Goblin Brawler get knocked back every single time he attacks. And also you saw that Skeleton Army earlier get completely evaporated. Another important thing to note is that the Evolved Royal Giant's ability does not affect air cards. So don't worry about your Inferno Dragon getting knocked back and reset if you decide to play that to counter the Evolved Royal Giant. Also, the exact number for the recoil damage is 81, which as I showed is enough to kill Skeletons. And it's also enough to kill Evolved Skeletons. Keep that in mind but it is not enough to kill cards like Spear Goblins. But since it does do damage with every single hit, it will kill Spear Goblins eventually. That's also because the Evolved Royal Giant has almost 4,000 HP, which is close to a thousand more than the normal Royal Giant. And as you can see, it only takes one cycle before you're able to get him. But since he is an expensive card at six elixir, it'll be a lot harder to get him than something like Evo Skeletons. As I said, the Evolved Royal Giant is pretty simple, but I think he will be just as strong as the others. If you're interested in the Evolved Firecracker and the Evolved Skeletons, then click these videos here. And even though that's it for card evolutions, there's still more content with this update, so be sure to subscribe so that way you don't miss that.